50 Crazy Facts About Musicians Everyone Should Know. The song Under Pressure was written by David Bowie and Queen during a 24-hour wine and cocaine marathon. George Lucas allowed the band members of NSYNC to make a cameo appearance in Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, in order to appease his daughters. The footage was then cut out of the final version of the film. The band D12 planned to find the 12 best rappers of Detroit, but found only six, so they created alter egos in order to have 12. That was when Eminem came up with Slim Shady. Dave Grohl has been the drummer on every Tenacious D album and is considered a member of the band. The American rock band, the Postal Service was sent a cease and desist letter by the United States Postal Service for trademark infringement of their name. After negotiations, the USPS allowed the band to use their name in exchange for playing a free show at their national conference. How depressing. Black Sabbath wrote the hit song Paranoid in 20 minutes to fill the remaining three minutes of time on their upcoming album. It is now regarded as one of the greatest rock and heavy metal songs of all time. Metallica's Cliff Burton and Kirk Hammett drew cards to decide who would get to choose a bunk on their tour bus in 1986. Burton drew the Ace of Spades, chose the bunk Hammett had been occupying, and was thrown out of the window when the bus crashed. He died at the scene. In 2002, the band Creed put on such a bad show at the Allstate Arena in Illinois that a $2 million class action lawsuit was filed on behalf of all of the fans in attendance. The lead singer in Seeger Rose once forgot the lyrics while performing with the band in France. He improvised and kept on singing in Icelandic, Oh sh I forgot the lyrics, but that's okay because I'm in France where no one understands me. Aerosmith made more money from Guitar Hero than any of their albums. Before Guns N' Roses, Slash once auditioned for the band Poison, but he decided not to join when he was asked about wearing makeup. The Beastie Boys used to open for themselves in disguise as a heavy metal band called Trip Hammer. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon earnings were invested in a floating restaurant, a fudge-making hotel, a computer game, a film nobody saw, a skateboard company, a car hire business, and a children's shoe factory, all complete failures. They fled to France as tax exiles and recorded The Wall. The famous Rolling Stone cover shot of a naked John Lennon curled against Yoko Ono was taken by Annie Leibovitz at the same apartment complex, and on the same day, Lennon was fatally shot. The Backstreet Boys and NSYNC had the same manager, and he defrauded both of them out of millions of dollars. The Red Hot Chili Peppers were once budgeted $5,000 by EMI to make a demo and spent $2,000 of it on heroin and cocaine. Chuck Berry earns all the royalties from the Beach Boys' 1963 hit single, Surfin' USA, which he won in a copyright infringement lawsuit unbeknownst to the Beach Boys for 25 years. On finding the body of Kurt Cobain three days after he died, the stereo at the scene of his death was still on with an R.E.M. CD in place, suggesting Kurt Cobain killed himself while listening to R.E.M. The rapper Busta Rhymes was the voice of the Reptar in the Rugrats movie. Janet Jackson's famous Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction was one of the inspirations for the creation of YouTube. She also has a pierced nose, which she says is for spiritual reasons, but there's no word if her pierced nipple holds any spiritual significance. While Tupac was in prison, he used to receive funny letters from one of his favorite actors, Jim Carrey, to help him laugh and smile. Shania Twain was inspired by nude photos that were leaked of Brad Pitt when she wrote the song That Don't Impress Me Much. ZZ Top once refused a $1 million offer from Gillette to shave their beards for an ad, following the deadly 1977 crash of the plane carrying the band Leonard Skinnerd into a Mississippi swamp. The survivors sought help at a nearby farmhouse, only to have the farmer who lived there shoot the band's drummer in the shoulder after being mistaken for an escaped convict. As a kid, Amy Winehouse and her best friend formed a salt and pepper inspired rap group called Sweet and Sour. At 2 minutes and 58 seconds in the song Hey Jude, you can hear Paul McCartney shout F hell as he screws up on the piano. The band thought it was funny enough to leave it in. Magne Fura Holman lost his father at age five in a plane crash outside of Oslo. The event was witnessed by nine-year-old Morton Harkett 13 years before the two would meet and form the band AHA. In the Star Wars universe, the style of music being played by the Cantina band is known as Jizz. The original title of the infamous Oasis song Wonderwall was actually Wishing Stone. The song is about an imaginary friend who's gonna come and save you from yourself. In 2008, there was a music festival called Festival of the F*** Bands, where bands such as F***ed Up, Holy F*** and F*** 
buttons performed. It was held in f***ing Austria. Ozzy Osbourne was once supposed to deliver a speech at a record label meeting and punctuate it by releasing three doves in a grand gesture of peace. However, being extremely drunk at the time, the Prince of Darkness decided to bite the heads off of two of the doves to shut up a publicist who was boring him. At the age of 12, Frank Zappa's son, Dweezil, formed a band called Fred Zeppelin with his sister Moon Unit. Judas Priest were banned for life from Madison Square Garden in 1984. Their fans ripped up seat cushions and threw them on stage during one of their shows. They were banned, despite the fact that their insurance covered the damages. Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off a dead bat which was thrown on stage in Iowa because he thought that it was a rubber bat. He was also arrested in the same year after urinating on the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. George Harrison's song, Blue Jay Way, has led to the repeated theft of that street sign in Los Angeles. The song was written at a house on Blue Jay Way in the Hollywood Hills. Ozzy Osbourne's lead guitarist, Randy Rhodes, was killed in a joyriding accident in Leesburg, Florida. The plane he was riding attempt to buzz over the band's tour bus, but clipped it instead and spiraled out of control, crashing into a nearby tree. The ensuing fireball killed him and two others. They were left unrecognizable by the flames, and Rhodes had to be identified by his jewelry. Frank Zappa named his daughter Moon Unit Zappa. According to his wife, Gail, Frank gave her the option between Moon and Motorhead, of which she chose Moon. They chose Unit because now having their first child, they were a family unit. The beat of the Mission Impossible theme song spells out the letters M-I in Morse code dash dash dot dot. The most played song on AM radio of all time, You've Lost That Love and Feeling, has a runtime of 345, which at its release was considered as too long for AM radio. In order to secure airtime, Phil Spector had a false running time of 305 printed on the label to trick DJs into playing it. After hearing The Doors' first album, lead singer Jim Morrison's father urged him to give up any idea of singing or any connection with a music group because of what he considered to be a complete lack of talent in this direction. American rapper Biz Markey was not supposed to sing the chorus in his hit song Just a Friend, but none of the people he invited showed up at the studio, so he sang it himself. The tradition of throwing women's underwear at rock stars goes all the way back to the classical pianist, Franz Liszt. Baby It's Cold Outside was written by Frank Loser in 1944 for him and his wife to sing at the end of their housewarming party as a way to tell guests it was time to leave. Afterward, they were invited to tons of parties with the expectation of the song being the closing act. In 1977, singer Tom Waits was arrested outside a coffee shop for trying to stop men from bullying other patrons. These men were plainclothes officers, and Waits was charged with disturbing the peace. Waits disputed the charge, was found not guilty, and successfully successfully sued the police department for $7,500. After ZZ Top's exhausting first major tour, the band went on a long hiatus to recover. When the band finally reconvened after two years of relaxing, the two guitarists discovered they had both separately let themselves go and grown long, thick beards. Jack White of the White Stripes was saving Seven Nation Army's guitar riff in case he got asked to do a James Bond theme. On their album Hooray for Boobies, the Bloodhound Gang included a track called The Ten Coolest Things About New Jersey. The song is just 10 seconds of silence. In 2003, Madonna leaked a fake version of her album American Life to Pirates, where every song was a loop of her saying, what the f*** do you think you're doing? Then a hacker posted the real songs on her own site for everyone to download. Pink Floyd played a concert with no audience at the amphitheater in Pompeii, Italy in 1971. It became the first performance to have taken place there since the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in ancient Rome in 79 AD. Kraftwerk once thanked Coldplay for asking if they could use one of their riffs by saying, yes, you can use it, and thank you very much for asking for permission, unlike that bad Jay-Z. In 1997, David Bowie sold asset-backed securities, dubbed Bowie Bonds, which awarded investors a share in his future royalties for 10 years. 